Hey guys, so today's video is on this look. It's really, really easy and is inspired by Kendall Jenner's makeup in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. She had a really natural and glowy look, so if you guys want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. So I decided to really get into the Victoria's Secret spirit and put on my pink robe. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to start off by priming my face. All the Victoria's Secret Angels have that radiant glowy skin, so I'm going to use the Lumi Magique Primer by L'Oreal and work this into my skin. And I put on way too much, so we're going to be extra glowy today. Then I'm going to quickly go in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation to even out my skin tone and cover any blemishes. Uh, but obviously, you don't need to use L'Oreal True Match. Um, just use whatever foundation works for you. And now I'm going to go in with concealer. So this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. And I'm going to use this to cover my dark circles and to highlight. And I'm also going to use this to prime my eyelids as well. Um, so this shade is only the slightest bit lighter than my foundation because I didn't really want an intense highlight for this look. I really just want to keep everything looking nice and natural. And as usual, I'm going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender. Before I set my face, I'm going to go in with the Chanel Cream Bronzer to bronze up my face a little. So I'm taking this on a Sigma F84 brush. And what do you call this? Stippling this onto my cheekbones <laughs> and jawline and forehead. Uh, so this brush blends it out pretty well already, but I'm just going to go back over the top of the bronzer with my Beauty Blender just to make sure it all looks seamless. I'm going to set my face with the Makeup Forever HD Press Powder in Translucent. If you don't need to set your face, I would probably suggest skipping this step to keep your foundation dewy. Unfortunately, I have oily skin, so if I don't set it, it's going to slide off my face. <laughs> but I'm only going in with enough powder to keep it on my face, so there's still that luminosity coming through. Uh, I would, however, recommend setting your eyelids though so our eyeshadow doesn't crease. For blush, I'm using the Balm's Hot Mama blush and I'm using this on a Sigma F40 brush to apply this to my cheeks. So I'm going to come back to highlighter later, but now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Um, today I used my old Sigma Brow Powder Duo in dark, uh, just for something different. <laughs> and I'm filling them in with a Sigma E75 brush. Then to set them in place, I'm going to go in with Benefit's Gimme Brow. Okay, now on to eyes. We want to keep everything looking really natural, so I'm going to go in with Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, um, just to add some definition to my crease and lower lash line. Uh, if you don't own Creme Brulee, you can just use any matte soft brown eyeshadow, or even just your bronzer instead. And then I'm going to take Dark Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills and use this to line my top lash line. Now I'm going to take what's left over on the brush and use it to smudge out that outer corner a little. Um, and then I'm going to lightly smudge the tiniest amount into my lower lash line. So I couldn't find my Too Faced eye pencil, so I'm using this one by The Balm instead to line my tight line. Um, but I'd probably recommend not using this one on your tight line because it did transfer a little onto my waterline. And then for my waterline, I used a skin tone eye pencil to brighten up my eyes. Next up, I'm doing this in such a random order. <laughs> Next up, I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek and I'm using this to highlight the inner corner of my eye and my brow bone. Um, this is such an awesome highlighting eyeshadow, so I'm going to take some on a Sigma F35 brush and use it as a highlighter to highlight my cheekbones and the center of my face as well. Then I'm going to go in with Benefit's Their Real Mascara before adding some false lashes. So the false lashes I'm using today are the Ardell 120 Demis. These are my favorite natural looking lashes. I feel like they just add the right amount of volume without looking too obvious or over the top. And once I finally get those to stay on, um, I'm going to move on to lips. Kendall had a really glossy soft pink lip color going on, so I'm going to go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee to finish off this look. 
So this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you liked it and haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my November favorites and to be completely honest with you guys, 